Hi, Dale Money here, Senior Trainer for Arrow Seal Systems. Today, we're going to go over the items that come with your system in order for you to set the system up properly and do the job. So, first thing I guess we should start to go over are what does come with the system. Well, you get the carving knife, so you can cut your blocks in your foam. You get the air dryer. You get the oil separator, you get a blue tube, three short extension cords, the flush bottle, the sealant feed tube, the air hose, which we'll delve into a little bit more here in a little while, and a spare parts kit with a pressure gauge, the crescent wrenches, and all the tubing and antennas that you'll need to be able to connect the system as well as the computer case that has the tablet and the printer come with it. Now, as we have all of these things here, this has to be installed to the system before we can do anything with the system to begin with. But it's shipped like this because we don't want it damaged. This is the tube that you'll run through the pump head here in the machine and feed down through the heater nozzle to the arrow injection. And this is pretty much all the material that you're going to need to get this system set up and functional when you get to the job site. I want to just talk a little bit about your air hose. You have a air compressor that sits outside and, and gets hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, produces moisture within this hose. This is why we give you the air dryer. Because our sealant is a water-based product, we need to minimize the amount of moisture and water that comes into the air pressure that delivers the sealant through the nozzle. It is very critical to keep this as dry as possible on the inside. And some of the basic tools that you may want to have with you are a hand drill, battery powered drill, tin snips, screwdrivers, maybe a hammer, razor knife, a straight edge, and definitely a sharpie. Because when you go to laying out the pattern in your blocks on the foam, it definitely comes in handy. And don't forget your tape measure. So today we're going to discuss the final setup of the system to actually connect to the duct system and, and get your seal going. So earlier we told you all about the materials that come with the system to assist you in setting the system up. Now we have all these parts in place for you to view and actually see where they're going. First, we had to find three separate individual circuits to run our system with. The bottom two are the heaters, the top one is the system itself. Once we found the three different circuits within the home, we were able to plug the system in, turn the fan on, and do what we wanted to do. So we know that now we're good to go. The second thing we did was hook up our pressure gauge, our air dryer, and our air hose that feed in or out to the air compressor. It takes a minimum of 90 PSI to run this system. So this gauge right in front of you will let you know if there's an error or an issue with it. The three antennas that have to go on to the lid of the system. You got your two Wi-Fi antennas and you got your GSM antenna. The blue tube comes out of the back bulkhead, comes over and up into the supply vent midstream to far end of the duct system. As always, when we initially set the system up, the gate automatically goes to two. Everything we do will be on gate two unless the computer tells you otherwise. We come over to the front and we hooked up our lay flat. Once we came off the front of the unit with our lay flat, we just followed our line 
into where we're going to make our injection at. We're going in to the top of the furnace plenum over here. So we hung our 12 inch flange up in here and connected our lay flat all the way back to the unit. All we have to do now is pressurize the system to make sure that our lay flat's not all twisted and that we didn't miss any boots or anything that needed to get taken care of prior to our seal. So we're just going to come over here, we're going to fire this fan up right here at the fan knob and it's going to pressurize all this lay flat all the way back to the plenum. We are now ready to seal. All right, so now that we've done our pressure test with our lay flat hooked up to the system, we know we're not leaking anywhere. We know we got all our blocks in, our systems isolated. You're ready to start your seal. So all you have to do now is take a gallon of your sealant, put it down inside the system, put your pickup tube in there, run it through the pump, and you're ready to go. We're ready to seal. Close the lid, anchor it down, And start with your start your AeroSeal software and do your pre-test, your seal, your post-test, get your certificate, and you're done.